So DevSquid just received a massive update. Now, this is the application that everybody is talking about because it more or less replaces about five applications with a single application. Now, this new update is not publicly available on the Amazon App Store, but the developer was kind enough to reach out to me after my last video and some of the issues that you guys had where your privacy section was not working. Some of you are asking what happens to custom add-ons or custom builds for the K application. All of these have now been addressed and I really just wanna show you the latest version of this application. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you now the first thing we can check is there has been a version update so if you go to the top right click on this we can see that the latest version is 131 and just to confirm again, this is currently not available on the Amazon App Store and I will be showing you the install instructions at the end of this video. Now, the first issue that many people had was regarding the privacy test. Now, if I go over to that now, now here we can see when I don't have any VPN connected, it has correctly identified my IP address and is given a rough location on where it believes I am. Now, some of you, I mean, most of you in the United States, had an issue with this feature where, where it wouldn't correctly identify where you are. And in most cases you saw wavy lines, but we can see on my device, once again, it's probably working. And if I now connect to my VPN, and this time we can see that it's identified my location to be in New York. And the IP address there is the IP address of my VPN. So this just confirms that your VPN is working properly. And this application or any other application cannot directly pinpoint your true location or your true IP address. Next up, we have speed test. Now, just for clarification, because there were some questions about this, uh, specifically around erratic speed tests. As you can see, this is actually using the website fast.com. And on the bottom right, you can see this is actually owned by Netflix. Now, any speed test you see here or any results you see here would really be the same if you just open up a browser and navigate to fast.com. So really, this is nothing to do with the application itself because the application is just using a browser window, navigating to fast.com, and this is the result. I mean, here we can see on my 4K Fire Stick Max, I'm getting 320 meg. Next up, we have Cleaner. Now, this is probably the one that caused most questions. And I did create a community post very quickly because unfortunately the original cleaner was very aggressive and if you did click on yes for the first option this would basically clean out all of your downloader folder but also if you are using custom k build um, add-ons or custom k builds it would actually completely wipe that out as well so word of warning if you are using that software with custom add-ons or builds do not click on yes for this option. Now I have mentioned this to the developer and I'm hoping that he's going to add just an extra line saying, if you are using the K add-on or K builds, do not click on yes. So once again, I'm gonna click on no, but as I've already cleaned my device, probably not gonna find much. But again, if you are somebody that regularly downloads applications using Downloader or another program, clicking on yes on the first thing will completely clear out those directories and it really is a quick and easy way to reclaim space on your device just to ensure you don't have anything important in that downloader folder. Now virus scan, uh, the questions I had on this were just regarding the speed or the time it takes and unfortunately because we are talking about you know 60 different virus scan engines, these applications do have to be scanned one at a time and it will take some time. So. As I mentioned in my last video, I recommend the first time just doing this, the deep scan. And on my device, this took about, I think 15 minutes and I have about 25 applications. But once you've done that, any subsequent application you install on your device, you can just click on that as an individual app and just scan that on its own. This way you can confirm that all of the applications on your device are secure and anything after that, you can just check that individual application. Now my device hasn't changed, so we still see the same information as before. And as I mentioned before, this is a quick way to access the settings on your device. So if I want to modify my controllers and Bluetooth, I can click on that. And this takes me directly to that option. If I press back, if I want to look at my applications, I can click on this. 
this takes me straight here. So a quick way to quickly get to those familiar settings or common settings on your device. Now, if I go to manage applications, this I think was one of the great points about this application because it allows you to quickly see what's running in the background. We can see these things that I stopped yesterday are still stopped today. So, you know, it is doing its job properly. But for example, launcher manager, I can click on full stop, full stop again, press back. That's now stopped and any application that was running before, once you do stop it, you will then reclaim that memory on your device. And of course, the more free memory you have on your device, the better your device will perform and the less chance you have of getting buffering. One of the other things people asked is, how does this work on the Nvidia Shield? So let's jump over to that now, then I'll show you exactly how you can install this on all of your devices. Okay, so to get this latest version of DevSquid on your Amazon device or your Android TV, the first thing you need to do is uninstall the current version. And this is because you've installed the application from the Amazon App Store, if you're going to install this update, you have to remove that first. But I'm hoping in a couple of days, he will actually push this update to the official Amazon App Store. But for now, uninstall the current version if you have it, then you use your favorite browser like Downloader or Puffin to get to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Once you get to the site, click on the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines. Click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be the latest update to DevSquid. So let's open that up. Here we are. Let's scroll down. Now we'll leave a link to the developer's website at the bottom of this page. So if you guys want to check it out, make sure you do stay up to date directly from the source. I will leave that link here as well. And underneath all of that, we'll have the single link. Let's click on this, scroll down again and click on this green download button. And this will automatically download the latest version to your device, which at the time of this video is 131. So DevSquid 131. Let's click on install. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag squid game, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Okay, I can now click on open. Here we can see the privacy test is working absolutely fine on my shield. I can go to speed test and confirm I'm getting by this speed. Go to my device and confirm that I'm doing this on my Nvidia Shield. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think the developer has done a great job with this application, which replaces your junk cleaning apps, your background processing task apps, your speed test apps, your antivirus apps. So I think he's done a fantastic job and the application will just get better and better as he adds in more fixes, more features, more tweaks. So make sure you are subscribed with all notifications so I can let you know exactly when the new update drops. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.